What's going on, y'all? So today I'll be showing you guys how I've gotten over $100,000 in business lines of credit from three banks, First Citizens Bank, PNC, and Bank of America. So I'm going to start with First Citizens Bank simply because PNC and Bank of America, your LLC needs to be two years in order for you to get the no doc business line of credit. But with First Citizens Bank, you could have an LLC as young as three to six months old and be able to get the um be able to get business lines of credit from them. So first with First Citizens Bank, you want to make sure that you're in their footprint. So you can go here and make sure um, that you know you reside in one of their areas. They're pretty much in a lot of states. Um, they're very big here in North Carolina. Uh, but yeah, so you want to check that out first. And pretty much with First Citizens Bank, they have a business line of credit. It's called a cap line. So when you go into the branch or you talk to a business banker, the product you're going to ask about is the cap line. So this business line of credit right here, it's a cap line. It renews every two years. Uh, so pretty much if your credit is good and good standing, you're above a 700 FICO on Experian and Equifax, they'll renew your business line of credit every two years. In addition to the business line of credit, you can also apply for one of their business credit cards. So with their business credit cards, they have a couple of their cards that are interest free. So this is their flagship card, the premium rewards. Um, it has an annual fee. It's not interest free, but they do have the rewards business visa is 0% for nine months. Cash rewards business visa, 0% for nine months as well. <clears throat> then they have the regular business visa with no rewards, that's 0% for 12 months. So in addition to the cap line business line of credit, you can also apply for a business credit card and it will only be one pool. So with First Citizens Bank, I was able to get um, $50,000 on a business line of credit and $20,000 on a business credit card for one LLC. So that's $70,000 just from one bank alone. So just some things you want to notate with First Citizens. So one, you want to be in their footprint. Two, you want to make sure your FICO on Equifax and Experian is above a 700. And then three, ideally you want to make sure your LLC is at least six months old. And you want to let them know you want to establish a relationship with them. So First Citizens Bank, they're more on a relationship side. They want your business. They want to grow with you. Um, and they want to lend you capital. Uh, so with First Citizens Bank, definitely reach out to them. Inquire about the cap line business line of credit and the business credit card. They go off of what's called state of income. So you don't have to provide any business tax returns, bank statements, or things of that nature. All you do is tell them what your projected uh, revenue is for the year or what your revenue was for the previous year. And then let them know what your personal income is. And with your personal income, um, pretty much with all banks, you can use your household income, any income that you project to make. Uh, maybe if you have a job and you you know you're going to get a promotion, you can include those future um, that future raise into your um, personal income. So your stated income is what you think you're going to make for the year. Uh, revenue is what you project to make for the year or what you made last year. So that's PNC. I was able to get fifty thousand on a business line of credit, twenty thousand on a business credit card. Next bank I recommend is PNC. So with PNC, your business uh, needs to be two years old to get the 
unsecured small business line of credit. Now they do offer SBA lending as well if your LLC is less than two years old. But if you want the no doc uh, business line of credit, you'll want to make sure your LLC is two years old. And you don't have to have a relationship with PNC or with First Citizens Bank to apply for the line of credit. Uh, you just want to make sure your FICO score, that's the main thing. You want to make sure your FICO is pretty strong above a 700. So with PNC, uh, the line of credit amounts between 20,000 and 100,000. And the way you apply is just by calling. So you don't have to have a relationship. You just call them. They'll connect you with a business banker. You'll give them details of your business, um, you know, things of that nature. And then they'll process your business line of credit from there. And pretty much, pretty much 30 to 40,000 is a good limit to ask for with the business line of credit. They actually gave me 30,000 uh, with the business line of credit. And pretty much a lot of banks, they'll do about 10% of what your gross revenue is. So if your revenue is 300,000 for the year, then they'll probably give you about 30,000 on that business line of credit. So PNC, that's another uh, company I recommend to get a business line of credit from. And then the third bank that we have, um, we have Bank of America. So with Bank of America, they're more of a relationship-based bank, uh, bank. They're one of my main banks uh, for my LLC. And with Bank of America, because I had a relationship with them and because my LLC was two years old, they didn't ask me for any documentations whenever I applied for the business line of credit. So with Bank of America, they gave me $28,000 on the business line of credit. And I also have a $12,000 Bank of America business credit card. So in total, I have $40,000 in business funding from Bank of America, $30,000 from PNC, and $70,000 from First Citizens Bank. So just some things you want to keep in mind. <clears throat> with PNC, two-year-old LLC, you want to make sure your FICO is still strong. Um, and then with Bank of America, two-year-old LLC with them as well, in order to not have your, um, in order for them not to ask for your tax returns. So both banks, they're going to want you to open up a checking account. Uh, they want to build that relationship with you, uh, PNC and Bank of America and First Citizens as well. Um, but pretty much this is how I was able to get over $100,000 in business funding just with one LLC using these three banks. So if you have a First Citizens bank in your area, PNC in your area, Bank of America, definitely go with them. Uh you know, inquire about the business line of credit and, and their business credit card, you know, so you can scale and start up your business.